Habersham riding a high they haven't seen in decades and it'd be icing on the cake if they can take down arch rival Stevens County. The Indians have won 11 straight in the series and it was 1996 the last time Habersham won, meaning none of these guys were even alive to see it. The reservation is the meeting place for the Battle of Kirahi Mountain as they call it. Tough place to win if you're the visitors. We'll open it up with the opening drive for Habersham. Aaron Galloway, nice through the defense, drives a few more for the great game to move the links. And then Cole Wilbanks finds Trey Hurt. Appears to cross the plane, but ruled out just outside the goal line. And then Galloway, second and third effort, probably would have been good, but forward progress was already called. They'd be turned away on fourth and goal. Later in the first, Indians go to Hassan Brown. Picks up some solid real estate here. Jackson Bell had it easy tonight. Just get the ball into the running back's hands. Brown, 15 yards for the game's first score. Seven zip Stevens County. He'd finish with 122 and two scores. Second quarter we go. A.J. Howard weaves in and out of the defense. This was the common sight. Indians racked up 321 yards on the ground. More Brown keeping the chain game on the move into Habersham territory. Great shot here to bring down Howard, but... He sidesteps a would-be tackler and untouched for the 21-yard score. 14-0 Indians midway through the second. He's just getting warmed up. Check out this gritty run. Part of his 151 yards on the night, and this one is his best. Count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tacklers he turns away some great blocking 27-7 your final Indians go to three and one Habersham Central moves to three and one as well